So Allah praises the couple, Zakaria and his wife. And Allah says the both of them would help one another. The both of them were on this race together. The both of them would pray together, worship together, make dua together. And this shows us the ideal couple. And that is they're helping one another on the race towards Jannah. They're competing with one another, not against one another. Each one is gently pushing the other forward. They're on the same team, wanting to help the other out. And that is what our Prophet ﷺ described. May Allah have mercy on that wife who wakes up for tahajjud and then wakes her husband up as well. May Allah have mercy on the husband who wakes up for tahajjud and then wakes his wife up as well. This notion of helping one another for righteousness, pushing one another to piety, and subhanallah, how many amongst us, we might not be as pious, as righteous as we are, had it not been that Allah blessed us with a spouse who is better than us, with a spouse who pushes us forward, with a spouse who reminds us to not do an evil deed and to strive for better deeds. And whoever has such a spouse should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then after that be appreciative of one's spouse. How important is it to have righteous spouses? In fact, simply by having a righteous spouse, your entire status changes. And of course, the example that comes to mind, even though it is the best of all examples, but still an example that is reflective for all of us. The example of our mothers, the wives of the Prophet wasallam. The mere fact that they are his wives sallallahu alayhi wasallam, makes them different from all other women. Simply because their companion and their husband is who he is, automatically they get something different. Ya nisa an nabiyyi lastunna ka ahadim min an nisa. O wives of the Prophet, you are not like any other wives. Simply by having a nikah contract and simply by being a life partner to the one whom Allah has chosen to be rahmatan lil alameen, you automatically have more responsibility. That's why Allah says in these series of verses, if you commit a sin, O wives of the Prophet, your punishment will be more. And if you do a good deed, your reward will be more as well. Now obviously, I'm not comparing any couple to the Prophet and his wives, but the concept, the concept of a wife taking on the responsibilities, the maqam, the status of the husband and vice versa. This is something that we all experience even in this life. SubhanAllah, how many times that the success of the husband, the wife rises up with that success. The success of the wife, the husband rises up as a result of that success. SubhanAllah, how many times in the beginning of the marriage, an average couple comes together and then Allah blesses the one of them to keep on rising, rising, rising. They might become the CEO, the richest person, the president, and the wife or the spouse has to rise with that. And along with that, the responsibilities come. If this is something we see in this dunya, for this dunya, how much more so for the deen? How much more so for our religion so be careful brothers and sisters before you get married of who you are married to and when you are married examine your spouse for their religiosity because frankly usually speaking not always usually their religiosity is a reflection of your religiosity my brothers and sisters if you want to be the ideal couple then help each other in goodness in righteousness help each other to pray to Allah, to make dua to Allah, read Quran together, read Salah together, read Salah in Jama'ah in your house with your wife when you are at home. Or take your wife to the masjid and pray together. When you worship Allah together, when you help each other to obey Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends Sakina. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showers His mercy, blessings, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases the risk upon the family. You live a happy life. You live a good life. You rejuvenate yourself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses the family. So help each other. Boost each other's iman. Listen to Islamic lectures. Learn Islamic knowledge together. And wake up for tahajjud. When you wake up, wake your wife up or when your wife wakes up, ask her to wake you up and pray together. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase the love, serenity and tranquility in your life.